Before we get started, guys, I have partnered up with iHerb, which is the world's most leading brand that provides supplements for adults, babies, and children, bath products, beauty products, as well as pet products. Wow. I know, right? How amazing. And it is really amazing. As you can see, the different options that's on your screen now that you can select from is amazing. And you can click on every last one of them and read what the ingredients are and what's needed and what it consists of. It's amazing. And I've been uh, purchasing with this company for several years now. And I finally decided to partner up with them because I've noticed the different changes that it provides my body. And it's amazing, as well as my kids. My kids just looks more healthier. Their skin is glowing. Their hair is growing, especially my son. If you've seen him lately, then you know what I'm talking about. And my daughter, her hair is getting longer and thicker and her skin is as well as glowing and my kids bones are getting stronger and they're getting a little thicker which is making me happy and my kids have not been sick at all these past couple of months so these supplements are working well for me and my kids and they can do the same for you okay now um as you can see i did purchase uh, a couple of supplements for me and my kids because my kids were running out of their multivitamins and then vitamin d which is very important for them to have because it helps out with their bones and omega-3 so with that said guys you know i'm not selfish at all if you're new to this channel please ask the ogs how giving i am <laughs> when it comes to different information that I can find and I can get. Now, I do have a 15% off code that you can use to, if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that I've mentioned and, um, and showed you on the screen. I just honestly recommend that you go and check out the website now. Go ahead and type in iHerb.com. So it's i h e r b dot com mm -hmm. i know you see it right okay and then just select whatever items that you're interested in even if you're not buying just just browse there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with window shopping all right and then once you select the items don't forget to add my 15% off code that I will put in the description box down below and you can also see it too. Just in case if you do forget it, it's in the description box down below because you know I got you. And <laughs> But don't forget, you got to use it as soon as possible because this does expire on August 1st. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm just giving you last minute stuff. I apologize for that. But yeah, that's when it does expire. So don't worry. The link is in the description box down below, right? Now, go ahead and start shopping, guys. Trust me, you will not regret it. Okay, so now, let's get back to the vlog. Y'all. First of all, I forgot to turn on my camera while taking this call with this man, but y'all would not believe what just happened to me so i just reached out to um one of the leads in chat that was assisting me right <clears throat> and um she told me to go into um the meeting to like to join the meeting i did see that but i had a customer on my line i was like what does she mean by that why does she want me to join a meeting when i have a customer on the other line that does not make any sense. Why would I want to do that? So then, um, so then that's when I was like, you know what, when I'm done with this call, I need to see what this meeting about. Cause maybe it's something dealing with what I'm dealing with now. So then finally I was able to get the customer on off the phone. Basically what it was is, um, the customer wanted to do some activation stuff with their card and I didn't know how to go about activating the card. 
So I reached out, but that's what happens when you don't use your resources, y'all, because it was right there. And they have an AI, y'all, chat bot that actually helps you, that actually helps you um, step by step. Instead of using the little resources that they have where you have to sit there and read those little fonts, the AI actually walks you through it depending on the call. So that's going to be my best friend throughout this whole project here, okay? So um, so basically, what was I going to say? So then when I ended the call, I jumped in this meeting that, you know, that um, she, she had me join. So then, you know, she uh, basically was helping another agent with, the, with his call. So I patiently waited or whatever. Oh, wow. I gained a lot of weight because this thing is tight. But I patiently waited until she was done with that agent so I can go ahead and tell her what my situation was, right? So after that, um, it was my turn. So I explained to her the situation, what happened, and I started asking her more questions while I had her on. Why did this agent out of nowhere, because I didn't even know the agent was there. I thought it was just me and her because I shared my screen. Once you share your screen, guys, it's just like a full screen. You can't even see anything on your end, but your screen, basically what you're sharing. So um, so as I'm asking her a question, I hear an agent get on the line saying that, um, excuse me real quick. I said, um, excuse me, I'm not done. How are you going to say, excuse me real quick, as if what I'm asking is not important, as what I'm getting assistance with is not important to you? Like you need to get your, your point across or whatever you're call, um, needing assistance with, you need to get it across before me while I was waiting in line, waiting to get assist by this lady. Like you get what I'm saying? So I was like, uh-uh. And then the lead, she was shocked too. She was like, uh, huh? <laughs> And that's when I was like, uh, excuse me, wait a minute, I'm not done. And I was like, like I was saying before, and then the agent still was trying to interrupt. And I noticed that she was trying to interrupt and I just kept on talking. And I just kept on talking because what? what you're saying does not matter. It doesn't matter what? because I was here first. So you're going to hold on like everybody else. I get it. You're on a phone call. You're you're anxious. You want to get this answered quickly, but just wait. That's how I was. I was reaching out to the lady and she didn't want to help me because you know what I'm saying? Like she was helping other people. I get it. I was just shocked. I was like, wow, that ain't never happened to me before. And this agent, she is brave as hell to be acting this way. Like <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I was like, uh, how dare you? don't what i got going on matter like i was here first like uh are you gonna apologize for interrupting but no guys i get it i mean so far so good guys the more i take calls the better i get and it's just like not even um i don't even feel like i am messing up on the calls, even on some of the calls I am messing up on. But I just feel more confident now than before because I wasn't um, logged in or whatever. So guys, I don't know what the hell is going on with this account here. I don't know, like they have this term where they use and I reached out and I was like, what does that mean? So you have opportunities to switch schedules with people. Uh, the only thing that they don't want you to do is release. So if you're releasing, it doesn't look good because they can see that. And I don't know, most likely when they see that you're releasing, that can be an option for them to just like remove you from the project itself. I don't know if that's an option for you to be able to still work for Omni Interactions, but it's a thing where if you are releasing a lot, then they will remove you. But um. I don't know if this account is promised though. I don't know if it's one of those accounts that will be here for a very long time. Cause when they um, sent me the email, they said a permanent account. So that's what I was thinking this account was going to be. Cause if it was going to be temporary, I wouldn't even waste my time. 
Your girl don't do temporary accounts. I do like permanent accounts because I don't have time to be. And that's the main reason why I'm going to school, y'all. I had to put school on hold, y'all. Let me tell y'all why. You probably like, why, girl, why? Because I guess I was moving way too fast for them. They did not expect me to be moving as fast as I am moving right now. So what they did was um, they did not send me my book. And there is a book that I need to complete a project that they're asking of me. So I have to sit here and wait until they mail, they ship out the book to me. So I'm thinking, um, because when I got the email, I was like, hmm, why are they, what? And that's when I was like, oh, those are my textbooks. So it's like three textbooks, I think, that will be coming, will be shipped to me soon. So I am, that's why my education is on hold right now, because I have to flip and wait. So yeah, y'all. That's what's going on. But your girl is patient. I try to be. And that's why I'm in school because I want to like work towards what I'm actually going to school for. And what I'm going to school for actually is paying really good money. You know, you can do a lot with it. You can create your own business if you wanted to. You can even create your own call center if you if you want to get all technical and stuff. You know, it's just amazing what you can do with medical billing and coding it's a lot so i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited to finish with school and to get on with my state board and get it together and i just pray to god that i pass it the first time with flying colors so i won't have to worry about getting paid chump change if i'm not certified you know how that is you know how that is when you ain't certified they want to send you these chump chains that these chump change pay, um, paychecks that don't make any sense to nobody and to our budgets anymore. So, yeah, y'all. So that's basically what's going on. And it's so slow today, y'all. It's extremely slow. Like the customers, I absolutely love them. I have not gotten an irate customer at all. And I don't think with this account, you would ever get an irate customer. The only time you'll probably get an irate customer is if they've been transferred several times already. And then you'll get that one angry customer saying that, well, I spoke to you like four times and I got one, but he wasn't even angry. He just told me, look, um, and he's from my hometown, not my hometown, but he's from where I'm at right now. So it's kind of funny because when I had to verify his information, and one of the verifications was his address. I was like, oh my God, he is <laughs> in the neck of the woods. So it was so funny. So then, um, but he was a nice guy. He was like, that was his fourth time going back and forth and I get it. And I was like, well, you know, I did my empathy statement. I apologize. And I said, yeah, I know how frustrating that can be. I will be upset too. But, you know, I just like chop it up with him because I couldn't do anything for him at that point because he was not in the right department. So, yeah, y'all. So I will hit y'all back up if the calls pick up. If not, then I still will come back so we could chat a little more. All right. So I'm going to hit y'all back up in a few minutes. All right, guys. So your girl got some tea for you okay as i'm eating lunch because i had prepared lunch for my kids before i even logged in on my um first shift well on my second shift right and then um my shift ended because it was slow guys it was really nothing happening so whatever and um y'all so you know how I was telling y'all how it's like a community where, you know, you're, well, at least on the app is set up that way. I don't know how it is on a computer, but you're getting um, notifications back and forth, back and forth. The notifications is either letting you know that uh, there's um, sh new shifts added on the um, app itself or someone is commenting on something or asking questions or whatever. So me, I ain't think nothing of it because I'm automatically thinking, okay, somebody's dropping, releasing um, schedules or schedules are available. So I didn't even take a look at it. And then, so I was experiencing technical issues. So I was in Teams 
And then somebody was saying that, oh, if you are looking for overnight shifts, they are available. Okay, cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm already at 35 hours. I don't think I want to add anymore. But I pull up the app anyway because I always do. Now it's a habit, y'all. Once you get into habit of doing certain things, then you're going to continue doing it regardless if you are not looking for shifts or not. I just be looking to see what's available anyway. It's not like I'm going to go ahead and select it. So um, there was a message posted on there, y'all. And the message went a little something like this. Well, so I guess she was trying to say help, but she said, well, she said, I just got fired. Y'all listening? She said, she just got fired and she doesn't understand why she got fired. Nothing was explained to her, but they're hiring people like crazy and they're getting rid of the old people that's been working here for the longest due to technical issues and sort and, and that sort of stuff. So I'm like, what in the world? So I had to read that message like three times. I was like, so they're firing people all about? They don't fire me. I just got started with them. But no, basically what happens is she's probably was a regular with having technical issues and stuff like that. People would never tell you the truth of why they got fired for real. You know, so she gets on there and put herself out there. If I had got fired, I would have never put myself out there on an app. Bump that. I would come on. Well, it's just like putting my business out there because I'm doing it on national TV because that's what YouTube is. But still, stop. Um, so, it, I mean, still, I wouldn't even like because it's like this person is looking for sympathy. You telling us this is like we can't save you from not getting fired. You're fired. You're fired. Just log off. But the problem was that she was like expressing her feelings. I guess people are different. They express their feelings in a certain way. So she just felt some type of way because she had to release the hours that she had already. And she had a lot of hours, y'all. She had a lot of hours. She had overnight hours, morning, like this lady was trying to get it in, okay? Taking advantage of what this account has to give because this account is paying after once you go over 30 minutes i'm at 30 hours i think they pay like 20 19 or 20 dollars an hour so she's trying to take advantage of it baby girl take advantage because i'm trying to do the same thing too but i'm not trying to kill myself crazy on doing that you know what i mean so yeah y'all i just wanted to give y'all the scoop on what just happened not too long ago not too long ago so it's just sad that's why i'm going to school because stuff like this they can easily let you go for over for reasons that doesn't make any sense to you but that makes a lot of sense to them you know what i'm saying and i'm thinking that the reason why they did let her go is because due to technical issues if you're constantly having technical issues then this is not the job for you hush this is not the job for you so um I just honestly feel like, you know, you're constantly reaching out, complaining about technical issues and it's an ongoing thing. Then what do you expect these companies to do? What would you do if that was your company and this one particular agent is complaining about technical issues all the time? You get what I'm saying? These gnats are so annoying, y'all. So annoying. At this point, I wish I had a frog as a pet so they could just sit there and suck them all up <laughs> but yeah y'all so i just had to like put y'all in the know so y'all know what the deal is that's crazy that's just sad but i just can't wait just can't wait until i'm done with school and Look what came in the mail speaking of the devil my school books y'all my school books we're about to unpack it it's funny how it says Optimum. Optum, that's United Healthcare, y'all. That's who um, sent me my equipment. So, so we're going to unbox it together. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. All right, so. This is the return label, just in case. 
So this is what I got, guys. I'm so excited. That makes me feel so official. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is why I had to place, um, I had to um, put school uh, on hold, guys, because I had to wait for these books in order to do the project that they requested of me. And yes, guys, so this one is the current procedural coding expert. So... And this one is also another big one, the ICD-10 CM Expert. So yeah, y'all, I'm official. I'm gonna put it back in the box just to keep them together. So when I'm ready, I'll be ready to pull them out. So yeah. Guys, I just got through jogging. I wouldn't say running. Well, to me it was running because I'm huffing and puffing. I'm gonna show y'all where I just came from. I just went here in a tennis court to do some laps. So guys, I just came to the park with the kids. It's like 6.30. I was thinking about doing it earlier with the kids, but it was too doggone hot. So I was like, you know what? I checked the weather app and it showed that sunset starts at 8 30 p.m so since i got through cooking um so yeah since i got through cooking i'm exhausted y'all since i got through cooking and i was like you know what since i have enough time let's just come out because the kids been asking me to take them to the park so i did that so um yeah i decided to do the laps in the court um, in the tennis court because I don't see why not. I mean, so yeah, I was going to go ahead and do this tennis court right here. That's, um, that I'm looking at that's in front of me. Obviously it's occupied. So because there's two courts on this, in this park. And then right next to that tennis court that I was um, doing my laps in is a doggy park right next to it. So I was like, you know what, let me just go in. But there was a sign that bothered me and the sign says that it's only for tennis um, instructors only. Not really saying instructors, um, instructors only, but it says beware if you see an instructor in the tennis court to not um, interrupt them and to give them the opportunity to do their practices so yeah but it kind of disturbed me a little bit because there's people actually out here doing it so yeah all right y'all i'm just enjoying this vibe right now my legs feel so good okay and when i checked my um my steps that I took, oh my gosh, it said that I did 1,446 steps yesterday. So I was like, wow, good job. You didn't even fall or anything. My son, he did a cartwheel. And this time he landed instead of falling. So yeah, guys, let me just go enjoy this moment with my kids and talk to y'all later. There goes Princess. She really doesn't know how to do a cartwheel, but she does her thing. You go, girl. Woo! My turn. All right. We're ready when you are. Out, out. One, two, three. Come on, Alex. You got this. Whoa. Not on again. I know you did that on purpose. I know that. The kids are at a hundred. Every time when they leave from being with their father, they're so excited. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. Hey y'all, so I wanted to come back on just to touch bases. I have never like gotten so in depth like this with y'all before, but I just felt like I needed to bring it out and express my thoughts and feelings. So here we go. So what I wanted to say is because my kids fought me and my me and my kids father does not get along. 
I can honestly say we are still technically married, but we're separated. But all I wanted to say is there are good men out there. I mean, even though they are, not, they don't know how to be husbands, but as long as they know how to be fathers to their kids, I think that's all that matter, matters, at least to me, because I give him his props about being that father, that father figure that he's never had in his life. Because the way he was raised, he was raised with a single mother, right? And, you know, as single mothers, we, we try to do the best for our kids. We try to raise them the best way we know how. And But when it comes to boys, a boy needs a man in their life, regardless if it's their biological father or a father, period. They need a man in their life. So he didn't have that. So when he started growing up, and now that he has a family of his own, he doesn't know how to be that. So because I acknowledge that, because once, once upon a time, I did have a conversation with his mom. So she did explain to me a little bit on why he is the way he is, right? I get it. So then that's why I try to meet him halfway to where I explain to him, okay, so this is what you need to do. And this is how you need to go about it when it comes to being there for at least for your son, you know? Because my daughter, our daughter, I got it. But to him, he needs a man, like, to be there, to put down on him and everything like that. And he doesn't understand that. He just feels like work, 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 work is his life. Because that's all he does is work every flipping day. He puts his job before his kids and his family. And... I wouldn't say that's why we broke up, but he had some other weird habits that wasn't okay with me to a point where I was just like, uh-uh, we got to be in separate homes because this ain't right. Like he has some demons, still has those demons riding the the heck out of his back. And I just felt like when I was living with him, those demons was riding the heck on my back too because I just felt like no matter what, I couldn't grow. Like the way I wanted to grow um mentally physically it wasn't happening for me it was always a downfall for me and i prayed about it and god just led the way he just told me you know what this is not the man for you i know he's your husband but you can do this on your own and ever since then going on six years y'all six years a tap on my back okay six years i have not been with anybody else and now I finally got somebody. I'm like caking and talking. It's like, you know, a fresh relationship. It's just somebody I just met like a month ago. And it's going so far so good. But I still got my guards up. It feels good speaking to someone because I haven't been in a game for such a long time. But having the opportunity to speak to someone and share my thoughts and feelings with that person just feels great. You know? So... I just honestly think that the co-parenting part with me and him works. A lot of people just say, oh, you're so easy on him. You're so nice to him or whatever. It's not that I'm nice. Why should I be nasty towards him while my kids are watching? You get it? Why do I need to treat him a type of way when the mom made it really clear and simple to me that she's at fault because the way he was raised and the way he is? So by the end of the day, it is what it is. He's not trying to change his ways for nobody. So like they say, it's people out there for everybody. And I'm just not that one. So I'll be happy for him on whoever he finds to that wants to be with him. But this shouty here, this shouty here <laughs> does not want him. Because I know my self-worth and I'm just not going to settle. I'm just not. He just don't know how to love. He don't know how to show love towards nobody. And I and I barely think that he even shows it to his kids. Like when he comes here and spends time, he's on TikTok. The whole time he's sitting here. So it just feels like, okay, my presence is here. That's all that matters. Okay, so if that's something that makes you feel comfortable in doing, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to sit down and be like, every time, Chico, you doing it, Robert? No, I'm not going to do that. 
your kids are watching. So your kids are going to tell you about yourself when they get older. Okay, so that's just what it is. I just want to come on here and just rant about that because I just feel like it needed to come out. Either you was going to hear it or somebody else was going to hear it. I don't know. I'll take it. I have your gum. My son, he doesn't like his gum so because it's so minty. It's the winter fresh one. So if you are familiar with the minty fresh, no, give me the whole thing. You take that one. You don't even no. want it. He doesn't give like me it. The box. Just here though. All right, give it to me. I need to track it down. So you won't. Yeah, I need to hold it down so you won't feel like you need to eat the whole thing. Give me. Thank you. All the gums are staying with me. I know all the gums are staying with us. Bye. So y'all, I will be hitting you guys back up later. And if I don't, I see y'all next time. So I just hopped out the shower and your girl's feeling so fresh from leaving the park. So yeah, guys, so I'm just so excited about tomorrow because tomorrow, basically I have a full day. I said to myself, I'm not working Mondays, but because I need to catch up with my bills. I'm like this whole week and next week I will be doing a whole full week um, and just working and taking no days off. And tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, but um, Monday is when they release the new schedules and they do that at 8 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, I'll be up bright and early just to not miss out. So, what I'm about to do now is um, just pull up my schedule so I can be prepared for it tomorrow. I know I work. I prefer to work later, guys. I don't want to do mornings, but I know mornings are usually the slowest because people call less, but you never know. So, but I know that in the mornings it's slower because... I actually, when I was doing my um, role plays and training class, it was slow. There was barely any calls. I don't know if how that's how they set the queue up for us, but your girl's about to find out tomorrow. I'm, a, I'm in my Hello Kitty nightgown. I love it. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm weird. So, um... For tomorrow, I'll be working, um, not tomorrow, I keep saying tomorrow, but Monday, I will be doing two hours, two hours and 30 minutes. And um, Tuesday, I think is one of my busiest, or I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday. It was one of those, but we're about to find out because I'm pulling it up now so I can share it with y'all. All right, so I'm pulling it up. Y'all, in the meantime, while I'm pulling it up, a lot of y'all reaching out to me saying that you guys heard that um, there's not much schedules um, available at this time due to the volume being slow, that's not true. Cause I'm always checking the schedules and they always drop and like, there's always some type of availability. I guess I've been lucky these past um, couple of days because every time when I go and check out the schedule, y'all, it's like so many avail availability and people are just releasing hours. So if you just feel like you don't have enough hours, just keep checking the um the scheduling uh constantly that's what i do and i'm always finding something available so two four three so i'm writing the schedule down y'all writing the schedule down good to go by what people tell you sometimes because it'd be like false information not that they are not telling the truth but sometimes it's a miscommunication somewhere to a point where you have to like figure the crap out on your own sometimes you get what i'm trying to say like 
sometimes happens it's normal yes i'm ghetto i'm writing it on a envelope so what my desk is a mess i'll be cleaning it up tomorrow so my first shift starts tomorrow at 3 to 3 30 and then i have a 4 to 4 30 and then i have a 4 30 to 5 and then i have a 5 to 5 30 and then i have a 7 30 to 8 and that's monday so that is basically two hours and 30 minutes and then to and then on the 25th, which is Tuesday, um, I start 12.30 to 1 p.m. And then 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then 3 to 3.30 p.m. And then 4 to 4.30 p.m. Okay, I guess Tuesday is my busiest. And then 5.30 p.m. to 6. And then 6 p.m. to... So let's do 6 p.m. So 6.30 to 6.30 to 7, then 7 to 7.30, then 7.30 to 8 p.m. So I'm doing 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Dang, your girl is busy. Actually, so I lied. So 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Wow, I ain't getting no rest. That's the whole point, y'all. That's the whole point. I don't need no rest. I, I'm not, I'm not even tripping. I'm not trying to get no rest because the rest I had was me actually being fired and being jobless and not having a job. I got enough rest on that, okay? And then, so Tuesday is my busiest day. Um, let's look at Wednesday. So Wednesday, 12 to 1, 12, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., right? And then 2 to 2.30 and then 2.30 to 3 and then 3 to 3.30 and then 3.30 to 4 p.m. and then 4 to 4.30 and then 4.30 to 5.30 and then 5.30 to 6 p.m. Wow. So, so Wednesday. So that was 2. 2 p.m. to all the way, y'all. because I work the 10 hour shift so how hard can it be not hard at all so then Thursday Thursday is 10 to 11 then 11 to 11 30 10 30 a.m. let me write it down now and then to 11 30 to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 
and then we're still on Thursday, y'all. So 1.30, oops, I pressed the wrong key, y'all. So now it's tripping. No, I don't want it that small. So I was on Thursday, so let me go. On the 27th. So that was, okay, so 1.30 to 2, 2.30, 2, 3. So 1.30. PM, then 3 to 3.30. 30 to 4, 4, 4 30 to 5, and 5 30. Wow. Okay. Then I at least get a little break in between. So 1.30 to 5 30 p.m. And then 6 30 to 7 30. I'm at 637, 738, 739, I'm messing up, y'all. So that was what? So 630, 6.30 p.m. to Six thirty PM to nine PM. I can do. <laughs> Yo, with all these hours that I'm taking, I better be professional on these calls. Like I'm telling you, I better know what the hell I'm saying and what I'm talking about. Because these are so many blocks. But thank God for that, because a lot of people been saying that they couldn't find get any hours. But I wonder why. Like that is really weird to me. So weird. And then, so we're on Friday, guys. So 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. 2.30 then 3, 3.30. Oh, why did I select a morning on a Saturday? I've been drinking, I've been drinking. <laughs> it's only 30 minutes, so I'm not even gonna release that one keeping it and then after that i do the afternoon which is 2 to 2 30 and then 5 30 to 6 6 30 then 6 30 to 7 to 7 30 p.m to 8 and then nine at this time around i'm gonna have to use all my resources because nobody's gonna be available at this time to be helping me if i do need help because they say that at late nights they don't have people available, like leads to assist. And then Monday the 31st, I have 3 to 3.30 p.m. And then 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's perfect. So... It's written down on this envelope, y'all. Of course, y'all can't see it. But, yeah. I just wanted to um, write my schedule down so I know. Like, just in case if there was a payment um, mistake made, then I have, um, I have the hours here available just to show proof that they did not pay me for a certain amount of hours. 
So it's always good to let them know about their faults and letting them know that you are paying attention so they don't mess up on your pay next time. But they said that um, when you first start off with them, you will get direct deposit um, for the first two weeks. Um, well, you will get direct deposit, but you will get it in two weeks. Then after that, you'll get paid weekly. So I'm okay with waiting. So I don't mind. So yeah, y'all. There you have it. I'm just going to go to sleep now because I do have to wake up early because I have to handle something tomorrow. But other than that, yeah, so I'll see y'all tomorrow.